Hello friends, I am Dr. Pavan Gulane from Medigris Hospital in Nagpur and this is a case of accidental injury of the external iliac vein during a radical hysterectomy. This is a case of 60 year old patient with a CA endometrium planned for laparoscopic radical hysterectomy. During lymph node dissection, we accidentally nicked the external iliac vein which was repaired by intracorporeal suturing. Between vein and the artery, vein is a bigger thin walled and relatively more fragile and during the lymph node dissection it is more likely to get injured. So it is very important for one who are attempting such radical hysterectomies or difficult surgeries to know how to repair the internal external iliac vein or any vein for that matter. Now we have already done the hysterectomy, we have already uh, dissected the lymph nodes on the right side so we proceeded to dissect the lymph nodes on the left side. but and uh, as you can see the ureter is totally dissected uterine artery is ligated at origin we have starting uh, to dissect in the area of the psoas muscle and trying to take the uh, external iliac lymph nodes or internal iliac lymph nodes while doing such dissection uh, what can happen is you have to be very gentle uh, uh, considering the vein and the arteries but at this point of time when we were trying to release this lymph node from the vessel we accidentally nicked the external iliac vein you can notice the small nick over the external iliac vein uh, that has happened during dissection of these lymph nodes obviously when you are doing such surgeries you uh, you become you take care of uh, the things you you stay outmost uh, vigilant not to injure but these kind of injuries are obviously possible and it is very important for all of us to know how to deal with them the first reaction can be a panicky obviously but it is very important for an operating surgeon to be calm and compose uh, when you have such injury the first and foremost thing is to dissect the area around the rent injury to the external iliac vein specifically any vein can happen during the complicated cases of endometriosis where the uh, where the fibrosis is totally adherent to the vein and because the vein is relatively fragile there are chances when pulling or dissecting the adhesions uh, the vein might get injured uh, secondly it can be, be uh, it can be injured when you are doing a case of a radical hysterectomy in which the lymph nodes are enlarged and adherent to the uh, uh, venous structure and in that case also you might encounter the injury to the vein fortunately this injury was at the 12 o'clock position of the wall of the external iliac vein and hence the bleeding that was coming out was minimal uh, as the pressure in the vein is hardly 2 mm of hg there is an argument that doing the laparoscopy in uh, uh, venous injury can be dangerous uh, considering the air embolism in such patients but we have done quite few uh, such cases where we accidentally injured the vein uh, in few cases we could achieve the hemostasis just by the compression and in this case we have uh, done the suturing but none of the case we uh, encountered any such uh, complication of air embolism and literature also supports the uh, finding that we, uh, we uh, had for doing the venous repair uh, you you have to be very careful uh, not to create a, a puncture injury to the external iliac artery because injury to the external iliac artery can be disastrous as the bleeding that might be coming from there will be uh, too much to handle. Uh, you can use a very small uh, size proline like uh, in this case we are using 5-0 proline on round body needle and we are just giving simple uh, stitches. Uh, to close the rent uh, it is a very small rent approximately 2 to 3 millimeter and we are uh, just giving two stitches to close the rent and then we'll be checking the uh, leak that might be coming from the rent after repair post operatively this patient uh, are going to be because she is old and this rent again there is a possibility of formation of thrombus and there is therefore you have to give low molecular weight heparin to these patients at least for three days uh, we started uh, 12 hours after the surgery for three days uh, once in a day uh, we also have to do the venogram of the patient to rule out any thrombus formation formation at the site of external iliac vein which can be common if you suture the vein
post operatively there is no restriction of the movement or diet or anything else we just observed the patient for 24 hours patient was absolutely fine and was discharged on day 3 of the surgery you can notice just with the two uh, sutures vein was completely sealed see vein is notorious structure obviously it is it has higher chances of injury but it is easier to repair specifically the bigger veins they are easier to repair as compared to the artery for uh, repairing the artery we new, need to use vascular clamp this is a post operative uh, picture where we have done the dissection from all the uh, uh, obturator fossas and uh, uh, intrailiac uh, lymph nodes and we have also seen the rent uh, of the external iliac vein that is that was not bleeding so we were we took a sigh of relief so that's it friends uh, this is all for this particular case we'll see you in the next video if you have any queries or if you want to comment something about it you can you want to suggest something please do uh, comment on the comment section and if you have if you want to ask me something personally you can always call me on my personal number thank you so much see you in the next video